Okay, so I just wanted to quickly review um, how photosynthesis and respiration function because they are the two most important um, biological processes that underpin um, and support all, all the biological life that's on Earth. So um, they're both, interestingly enough, processes that were first evolved a, a long way back, uh, probably close to half a billion years ago on, on Earth by bacteria. And they... Well, uh, the chloroplasts were bacteria that um, developed the ability to use sunlight to change carbon dioxide and water into sugars. So when you make bigger molecules from smaller molecules like that, it requires energy to do that. So um, the bacteria um, developed uh, these uh, pigments that could um, trap um, the sunlight and use that energy to drive the process of converting um, carbon dioxide and water and they use sunlight to do this to make sugars and oxygen was produced as a waste product those bacteria um, didn't need it. They were anaerobic bacteria, so they um, lived. They didn't require oxygen. They just used carbon dioxide, um, and they what they were interested in was producing this food molecule sugars that they could then store as a food reserve within their bodies, um, or use to some extent to make proteins and lipids and things. But as cells become more um, complex, they use this um, sugar as a food resource to actually create a more diverse um, range of biological molecules as far as protein, uh, fats, proteins, and carbohydrates go, and, and things like DNA and, uh, as well. So um, these molecules had a small amount of, of DNA as part of them, and that was actually how we, we discovered that they were once bacteria, is because the DNA within the chloroplasts of plants still retained some of that DNA. So um, we, we can then determine that they had a, a bacterial origin. So the process they do is, is to convert it. Um, the oxygen goes into the atmosphere, so it's been important to change the composition of the atmosphere. So all the oxygen that is in our atmosphere was put there by um, the early bacteria, and um, it's been maintained in our atmosphere by plants and other producers, um, where it's used by other living things in the process of respiration to, to create energy. But when you look at plants now, this, um, so they have a, a cell wall, which is the hard bit on the outside, and then they've got a cell membrane, which is um, a porous, um, porous coat around the cell. And then as well as these mitochondria, so these, um, used to be once bacteria have, have now become an organelle within this plant cell called mitochondria and that's used by the plant to make sugars which are then stored in the plant or used to make proteins and, and fats and things and in, in addition to the mitochondria the plant has a whole bunch of other organelles it has DNA within the nucleus and it has ribosomes that make proteins um, and rough well, they have liposomes, they've got a whole bunch of organelles that we won't go into. But um, the important part is that um, the ability of plants, bacteria, and other producers to make this sugar, these sugars have then provided not only oxygen within the atmosphere, which has allowed other cellular processes like respiration to occur, but it's provided a food source for other living things. So other living things like animals that can't, um, do photosynthesis now have a food source if they can eat plants. So that created an evolutionary, evolutionary arms race where plants evolved um, adaptive mechanisms to deter being eaten while all the consumers that were trying to get them and eat them to get that food evolved different ways to eat other living things and, and get the energy that they needed. So this oxygen is then an important molecule within this next process, which is uh, respiration. So it's not the respiration as far as breathing, which everyone kind of thinks respiration is. That's um, 
the, resp the respiratory system allows you to breathe, but respiration is using oxygen and sugar, so it's using the products of photosynthesis, and it uses them to make energy in the form of a little molecule called ATP and carbon dioxide. So these two processes are nice little reflections of each other. So if I write, write out the um, process of photosynthesis again, you've got uh, carbon dioxide and water making sugar and oxygen. And then that sugar and oxygen is then used by uh, respiration in the mitochondria to make energy in the form of ATP, carbon dioxide, and water again. So they're nice little mirror images of each other. And everything that is alive